Then Isaiah 59.5 says, They hatch adders' eggs. They weave the spider's web. These are, these are traps. He who eats their eggs dies. And from one which is crushed, a viper is hatched. This is also in the church system. And, and from one which is crushed, that's a soul, a viper is hatched. Their webs will not serve as clothing, that's a white garment. Men will not cover themselves with what they make. That is in the day of judgment. And great tribulation, day of judgment also. Their um, white throne judgment. Their works are works of iniquity and also hellfire. Their works are works of iniquity. Their deeds are violence. of violence are in their hands. Their feet run to do evil. They set snares for one another. And they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Desolation and destruction are in their highways. This is their streams, their spiritual streams. They're, they're serving other gods. So this is the church. The church is... is um, is also partaking in the same beasts and in, in the same things that the beast systems is partaking in. It is Egypt, and it is at the end of the transgression. And the list, and what the uh, what it does is the the spider web. So this is in the first covenant. In the first covenant, God is looking at his covenant children and saying, okay, this is what's happening with the covenant children. You see, this is what's coming, happening with the covenant children. This is Babylon. And, and so this is the heart of all humanity. And this is where this comes from. So it's, it's the, uh, so, so this is also in the church. This is in the church, and it's, and, and it's uh, the church that has gone making covenant with the kings of the earth. And so this spider's web is in business. This is the seven hills of Rome. Okay, the seven mountains of Rome. We have business, religion. I'm trying to order these. This is the seven hills of Rome. A business, that's the kings, physical kings, and, and religion, the priests, and what they do is they are working on, you can say environmental first, or education, environmental, then social, then um, uh, science, and then technology. These are the seven hills of Rome. This is what rules the planet, these seven streams. Every spider web does the same thing in every single principality. All different compartmental uh, compartments. It's all compartmentalized. There's a there's a one huge spider web, and that's uh, Lucifer, Satan, the devil. He's the center. That's the, the and then he has the seven principalities, the seven streams, and there's another spider web that is the head. That is the one of the thunders. Right of that mountain, and then within that mountain, there's compartmentalization, where the spider's web is everywhere, down to the down to the vice president, down to the uh, um, down to the sec the secretary's office, and then from there, there is the other compartments, and, and and those compartments they all have spider webs, they're right down into the individual employee. So the entire system is completely covered. You see, and what that spider web does is it traps anyone who is not conforming. And what it does is it uh, it turns a, a a person into into um, uh, who is crushed through that system, who surrenders to that system. They want to hatch a viper.
You see? Uh, Jesus Christ said in Matthew 23, you brood of vipers, who's warning you three from the coming wrath. He says, you travel across uh, sea and land to gain one single convert, and when you do, you make them twice the children of hell as you are. And that's what they're doing. Hosea says it'll be like like people, like 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 priests. That, and that's what's happening. And that, those are the idols. They are false Christs. What false Christs do is they... Um, they uphold. They also not. They they themselves uphold their their idols, their priests and their pastors. You see, those are false Christs, also, because they're upholding their idols. And so you have the gold, you have the silver, uh, you have the the reed, you have the palm branches, and and this is a um, a sickening. It's actually sick. It's sick. It's sickening. What it is. It's an. It's just. Um, the Holy Spirit has helped me to see this. And so, um, the Holy Spirit is merciful, he's gentle, and he's, he's kind, he's merciful. And, and and so this is the the balance that has to be used. Um, knowing, how, uh, however, knowing where we are, that we're at the ends of the earth, and that God is ready to vomit them out. Because the... the his patience has run out, and now they have to face the sword of God. They have to face a physical judgment. Is 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 God is actually rebuking them himself, and he uses. I've seen uh, not not just myself. Uh, um, I've seen other other prophets on this, in the streets. It was just amazingly edifying for me to watch. I mean, I was just so I was. I'm seeing the Holy Spirit. I'm rejoicing in what this. This, this he was being used. He was prophesying. He was rebuking, um, and he was rebuking their fornication. And they because they and they were out in the streets and they were uh, ministering. So uh, that's what I saw. And the Holy Spirit put in my heart. I mean, they had they weren't really yeah, they was they were ministering, and the Holy Spirit put in my heart that. Um, that was him. That was his Holy Spirit working through that person. I was completely edified through that. So, anyhow, uh, it's not anyhow. Um, in, in, there's uh, say any in any way that the Holy Spirit manifests, uh, we must be discernful. We must know that is the Holy Spirit speaking. We have to have that discernment. When we have that discernment. Is, uh, is given because we are in a fellowship. We have the Holy Spirit. We sense the Holy Spirit. We, we know the Holy Spirit. The sheep hear His voice and none other will they follow. The sheep, they recognize the work of the Holy Spirit. So, uh, I hope you're edified. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Amen and amen.